Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. And today what I have lined up for you is Subly cloth. Subly cloth. Sublimation tissue for what? For cotton. Yay. <laughs> Alright, so today we're making a video about how to sublimate on cotton. Um just to kind of keep the videos a little shorter, I felt like these videos been going on too long and I've been doing way far too many sublimation videos. I need to switch back to my um to my core, my vinyl and screen printing. But if y'all love it, I love it too. You know what I'm saying? Um just to keep things simple, nice and short, shape to the point. Um I already printed out two images. This one is this paper, first and foremost, this paper is size 11 by 17. Okay, this is size already 11 by 17. So I didn't wanna keep going back and forth with Photoshop and this, that, and the third. I just went ahead and printed the picture. Y'all already know it's from the Sawgrass printer. It takes forever, it still takes forever. Ain't nothing changed with that. So um, this is already size 11 by 17. And I got another picture I just want to try out. This is a vintage artwork. This is like an old cigarette advertisement that I like. That's pretty dope. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip the first one out. I'm going to cut the first one out for you. And let you know how it go. So I'm gonna use my editing software to kind of speed things up right back. And I got these both cut out. Now, once again, this is already size, it's already size 11 by 17. So I don't need to do much uh, with these things. Now, from one, from my understanding, basically, um, if you print it on a white shirt, of course, it's gonna bleed onto the white. So it's probably best to work on black shirts. Um, I also have a navy blue shirt that I wanna try. I need to try, yeah, I'm gonna try the navy blue shirt just to see how that works and see if it bleeds or whatnot. Um, this image right here is like, it's a little under 11 by 17. Um, they say for dark shirts, do not, you know what I'm saying, cut it out. They want you to cut it out to the size of the picture. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this up. You know what I'm saying? In regards of like practicality of using these things, I paid $30 for, what, 10? It's like 10 of them. Um, let me show you. There's 10 units, right? Where is that? 10 units. $30. So that's what? $3 a transfer. Um, factored in with the price of the shirt. Price of the shirt, I get my shirts pretty cheap. So like $2. So $5 total. You sell it for $20, $25. Give or take. Um, depending on how it looks. You know, this this wouldn't be my go-to. This is just a video to show you. Um, it's, it's expensive. It's very expensive. But it could be worthwhile. You know what I'm saying? It, it all depends on you. Like, what I, I get my... um, I get a hundred of the t-shirt transfers for like... 11 by 17 for like 180. So that's almost like two dollars a sheet, and that's a hundred. So if we were to get a hundred of these, man, we're gonna be paying a lot. That's gonna be three hundred dollars, y'all. That's a lot. That's a lot of bread. But you know, if you, I, I can't say I would recommend it or I can't recommend it. Um, but it is what it is. I, me personally, I don't think I'll be doing it too often. I just wanted to try this out. I probably do it on a couple shirts. But I don't think I'll be like reselling these um, for real, for real. Because it's just so expensive. And my next purchase is going to be a laser, the white toner laser printer. All right, so let's see here. The steps, it comes with nice little steps. Uh, whatever, it don't really tell you too much. Uh, so what I've seen from other YouTubers, they said the rough side is the side that goes down. Like once you get yours, you're definitely going to tell the soft side from the rough side. Okay, this is the rough side. So I'll put that down. All right, make sure my paper is already sized up. This looks like it's a little bigger. Yeah, that's a little, that's a whole lot bigger. So 
maybe it's 11. It's a little over 11 by 17. So what I'm gonna do is trim this little excess off. Hope y'all see this. I'm gonna trim this little excess off here. And another thing about this stuff, you cannot contour cut it. You cannot contour cut this. So that might be another issue for people that's trying to make, you know, um, designs other than like the square jokes. Um, it's probably best to use a ruler on this thing. But what I'm gonna do, I got my rotary cutter. I'm just gonna cut. Uh, since my table is sort of kind of has guidelines on it, I'm just gonna follow the guideline, okay? So, just follow the guideline. Oh Lord, it's definitely, definitely need a ruler for this. Definitely need a ruler for this, y'all. Definitely need a ruler, all right? But as you see, that turned out pretty good. Turned out pretty good. So now, now you see, got a little bit of an overlay. Got a little overlay. All right, so this is gonna be an overlay. You know what um, I'm saying? All right, so step number two, get all this stuff out of the way. Put it to the heat press. Right there. Got it nice in the middle. Nice in the center. I'm just gonna press this down, maybe 10 seconds. Okay. Alright, and it creates a nice little creates a nice little layer. I'm gonna show you. Creates a nice little layer over top of the shirt. All right, so this is going to be all the the image that I'm going to sublimate on, okay? All right, keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> first time, first time's a charm. I have a feeling that it's going to turn out wonderful. Make sure y'all hit that like button, that comment button. Make sure y'all comment and subscribe on these videos let me know what you like what you want to see more of of course um this was a viewer's request somebody messaged me and said hey yo i want to i want to know how can you sublimate on cotton i want to know this and basically there, there's there's more ways than this that you can sublimate they have uh there's another thing called caesar is it i think it's easy subly or something or subly cotton and with that you can print directly from your sublimation printer and then take it to your your vinyl cutter and um basically contour cut with this one you cannot contour cut so basically it's just pretty much you gotta cut it with your own hands use a rotary tool and i, I would highly recommend getting yourself a rotary tool because the fabric the fabric um definitely moves and moves a whole lot is cloth basically that's why they call it was sub the cloth so right, this is almost ready all right and here goes the shirt came out really really good i cannot lie i cannot lie get this extra lint off of it of course um of course the areas that I didn't trim, you know, because when I heat pressed it, it kind of expanded a little bit. So you can still see that white on it. You know what I'm saying? So when you're when you're making a picture, when you're making a picture or something, make sure you create a nice little borderline. Well, not a borderline, but just leave enough space. Um, cut enough of the eat this this the easy subly. What is this called? Cut enough for the subly cloth. Um, so that your picture can fit over top of it, if you know what I mean. Um, in terms of bleeding onto the shirt, now I'm not even going to try the. I'm not even going to try using the um, the navy blue shirt because I can already tell that it's it's bleeding a little bit. 
You see that little black stuff over top? It's not bad at all, but it's bleeding a little bit. Um, the feel is very great. It's a great feeling shirt. It feels, it definitely feels lighter than the um, transfer paper, of course. Let me see if it got a little stretch to it. Oh, nice, nice stretch, nice stretch. They got a nice stretch to it. But yeah, it looks good, man. I can't, I can't lie. It has a little gloss to it and everything. It has a little gloss and everything. So we're gonna work on shirt number two. Now shirt number two is gonna be a lot more tricky because this is, I believe this is like eight by 14. So the rough side is gonna be face down. All right. Make sure it's four fingers down, of course. Four fingers down. Y'all see that? Four fingers down. Make sure y'all hit the like button too. This stuff was expensive. All right, back again. Here goes the results, the end results of this shirt. Um, it looks wonderful. It looks wonderful. Uh, once again, like I said, um, of course, you gotta do your measurements, make sure your, your measurements are right. I'm pretty sure a ruler could have easily fixed that. Got a little bit of, got a little mishap at the bottom. Um, it, it feels perfect. It feels, um, it feels better than the shirt. It just, it, well, it just feels like polyester on top of cotton. That's all it is. It's just polyester. It's probably a, a adhesive polyester on top of cotton, and it feels smooth. Got a little, got a little shine to it. I don't know if you can see it, but it got a little shine to it compared to the to the regular shirt. Looks real good. Um, can I picture myself selling a shirt like this? Can I picture myself selling a shirt like this? Yeah, I, I can see myself selling a shirt like this. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a good feeling shirt. Um, of course, they gotta go through the ringer and you know do a couple wash tests. I'm definitely gonna give y'all an update on the wash test. Um, I might just throw these joints in the washing machine a couple times, not even wear it. Well, nah, shit, I'm gonna wear these things. <laughs> these joints is flat, and I got them Jordans to match too. What, nigga? What? <laughs> But yeah, um, for sure, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I mean, these are good though. But once again, that price is a little steep. This price is a little steep. Um, is it worth it? Everything has its worth. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It, it's definitely, I'm definitely gonna give it my stamp of approval. Um, this is pretty good. Compared to t-shirt transfers, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to stick with t-shirt transfers because, you know, um, man, I don't know. It's, it's like I can save some money to each his own, man. That's all I'm going to say. I can save some money, but these are looking good. And of course, um, for white shirts, for white cotton shirts, t-shirt transfers do work way better because... This is just gonna bleed onto the shirt. That's what I wanted to say. It's just gonna bleed onto the shirt. Um, but for black shirts, for sure, this this is a dope option for black t-shirts. Maybe I can maybe I can use these for black t-shirts. But the only thing is, it doesn't contour cut. That's another thing. It's only for like if you have a picture, if it's square. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you can HTV over top of it. But this is only for like, it seems like it's only for like square, square images, you know. All right, if, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, of course. Um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna get that, um, the HT, no, was it the Easy Subly and the, was it Subly Flock or something? Uh, those are also items that you can just run it through your sublimation printer and then bring it to your 
the contour cutter and cut out the design. Um, if you found this video helpful, good information, hit that like button. If you like the Dallas Cowboys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Please comment what you want to see next. Peace. It's your boy.